we are going down Chrome Ave and I just wanted to point out all these beautiful royal palms lining the roadway. It's just gorgeous even though it's still wet out and I was so excited we just passed a farm stores which you don't see those too often anymore over on I believe that was on Kings Ave so I really want to go and get some ice cream from there too they have good ice cream we always had farm stores all over Brard growing up so the people who know know how good they are we're it's a at South Homestead here. We're almost to Key Largo, which is the beginning of the, uh, the Florida Keys. Keys. That's right. Yeah, we went through Homestead, and Homestead is an area that's pretty much full of nurseries and tree farms all throughout it. I couldn't film there because the rain was pretty heavy. You got a little trolley going down the street here. That's yep. cute. Yeah, the rain's lightened up a little bit, hopefully. It'll be better over the water. You can see the Seminole um, Theater over here to the right. Pretty cool downtown area. There's a lot of good food around here, believe that. I saw they're gonna be opening a Jamaican restaurant on the corner over there. Delicious! That's the one thing I do miss about South Florida is all the, the delicious is food. Good. Well, it looks like they're putting in a new train station it's over like a, here. Yeah, I wonder if this is the one they talked about on the news out of Orlando. It's like an express train. Hmm, maybe so. It's like a non-stop express train. There's a huge entertainment, IMAX, cinema, bowling, game place over here. like some fun. Coming up on flag. Prepare to turn left and then turn right. Are we turning left here on Flagler or no, up ahead? One, up ahead. I think it's the next one. Up ahead. Please turn left. I know we need this lady to have some better accent or something. She should be speaking Spanish. <laughs> Give her a few days, I'm sure she will be. Mira, mira. But yeah, it's a pretty congested area around here. Yeah, and all the, the couple of arteries that you can take to get down here, Route 1, and we're on 997, I think, and uh, 75 ties in all of these three major arteries going north south are going to come all to one in a quarter of a mile at the traffic light turn left onto southwest 328th street and then turn right yes ma'am <clears throat> oh, big old coin laundry got your pawn shops Now turn deals. left and then turn right. Well, we gotta wait for the light to turn green, all right? Slow your roll. There's no turning back now. We're on our way to the Keys. Did we stay <coughs> in a little campground near here? We did. Oh, there's an Everglades alligator farm and a winery. I don't remember the name of that campground, but I know it was right near here. It might be even down this road over here. We tent camped. Oh, the light is out. That's not good. Uh oh, we're going Florida style. South they're, all, they're all running that red light. This is what happens in South Florida. That's why there's accidents. All right, go. Yeah, he knows I go. That's kind of... Wow. Yeah, that's the way it works around <laughs> here. It can get a little dangerous. Long well, John Satters. I guess size don't matter. It's just the craziest matters around these parts. Who's ever brave enough to stick their nose out far enough? 
and be hopeful that somebody's not crazy enough to take your nose off. That's the name of the game. A lot of vacant buildings. Rainy, rainy weather. Let's hope we leave all this rainy weather this way and don't take it all the way down with us. Choices, choices. We're going straight. Yeah. And there's a toll. Key Largo, 20 miles. Isla Morada, 41. And Key West, 122 miles. So we still have quite a ways. But this is the time to do it because sometimes these roads get so packed, it's very slow. And so far it's looking pretty good, so we'll keep our fingers crossed that we have a good travel like this the whole way. We finally made it through the rain. It's looking clearer. Excited to see the water. Still going about over. 70 miles to go. 70 more miles? Yeah. And then we're going to be on island time? We'll be on island time. Everything slows down. Alright. I like that. Look at all this beautiful water. I saw a property back there for sale. How much do you think it is? <laughs> Probably cost millions. Three or four million dollars. At least. Four. And nothing's on it. So bring your own tent. <laughs> that might be all you can afford after you buy the land. Oh, I'm so excited. Mile 71. pulling off down here. They're going to go fishing probably. Or maybe there's just brake checking for no reason. You get a lot of that too. You see a lot of people fishing off the old bridges on the way down. Looks like we're in Long Key. dark clouds in the sky, but not a bunch of rain, which is good, because it was pretty heavy when we first came in. Yeah, I think it cleaned off the motor. Yeah, we got a free car wash. <laughs> At the car wash. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I cannot wait to try some delicious seafood. Sixty-nine. Whoop, whoop. Are you going to be on the hunt for the 
golden key? Look, he's looking in the sky for it. That guy was. Of course, being in the keys, it's probably usually breezy out. In a quarter of a mile, at the traffic light, turn right onto Sixby Road. There's Sixth double D's. Road. Damn, Sixby Road. Should be going in through a gate here shortly. Got a jet gate skis. I have never gone in before. Oh, nice little baseball fields. Ibis Bay. Now turn right. We're at Sigsby Naval Air Station in Key West. Waking up to a beautiful 72 degrees. Looks like a tiki boat going by. I'm standing on the front of our RV lot. This is how close we are to the ocean. This is an amazing site. It's got full amenities, with the exception of cable TV. But it has water, electric, and sewer at every spot. $47 a night. It's a great deal. Brown Sigsby. Coming back out of the campground. It's nice, a very quiet base. It has several parts to it where you drive off the base and back onto another part of the base. But we're just on Sigsby here. Some guys are playing some softball. Or baseball. It's like softball. Facilities are nice. We have showers and laundry room. Very nice kept field. It is a Sunday. We came in on a Saturday. But so far what we've seen, now we did come in on a weekend. We haven't seen a weekday yet, but it's a very quiet base. Very small base. Somebody either checking in or checking out because that's the campground office right there. It also combines as the, uh, the ticketing office and fitness center. So they have a small gym inside there that's open really late to 11 p.m. 
seven days a week, so you can go in there and get your workout on. And look how close it's walking distance. Right there you have the commissary. To the left of that, adjoining the commissary, you have the PX, or the BX, we call it, we're on a base. To the right, as I pan over here, we have a gas station over there. And there's a fire station there to the right, you can see. And we're in the main, I would say the main built up area of this base right here. The main intersection. You see there's really not a lot of traffic going on. But again, it's a Sunday. Beautiful day, we're just gonna take a look, take a ride around. Here's the main commissary. The NEX, I guess that's Naval Exchange. Being in the Army, they call them AFES or Army Air Force Exchange Service. Here, it's a naval base, so the Navy and the Marines kind of share their same items going on there. It's a little different alignment. You go across the field, you got tennis courts. Ball fields. Commissary is closed today. Exchange is open. Uh, right there in the center of your video, you see a the Navy Lodge. So you could stay here if you had. Uh, you know, you could stay at the lodge if you didn't have a campground. Got some storage units there behind it to the left. And that road circles back to the campground, but we're gonna go back this way. This is going deeper into the base. We got a post police. A car wash. Looks like a bouncy house birthday party thing going on here. That's a nice place for a birthday party. That's perfect. Community Center. There's a splash park. This looks like a lot of fun for the kids. We're right next to the Splash Park, this community center. They have a list of things going on, events going on. Anything from movies to, to bingo, disc golf, cornhole tournament. Looks like they have trivia. There is a bowling center, but not on this part of the base. It's at a different location. You got special events, you got fishing tournaments, you got soccer leagues and three on three basketball tournaments, all local. Easter egg hunt for the kids. 
Lots of stuff going on here. Looks like they pretty have a pretty large boat lot storage area. Looks like some of the on-base housing. I'm not really sure what they have here as far as permanent party. I'm not sure if there's any Coast Guard here, if it's all Navy or what, I really don't know. Not that familiar with the operations of Key West. We'll drive through this base, some of this base housing so some of you can just kind of see what it looks like those that aren't familiar. Looks like the military has invested though in some solar panels. It's interesting. Well, I guess we're at a dead end road here. This is another campground here on called Gulf View. And a lot of this is they run generators, they have no utilities here. They do have a dump station, water station. The middle section I'm told has electric and water and sewer at the locations. And you can see the electric pedestals at these center ones, center located ones. But the ones on the outside, boondocking. You can see many of those are open. Looks like a laundry facility. You see many vacant lots here. are all primitive sites. They let you run generators till a certain hour at night and then you have to shut them down. But the weather's very nice. Until it gets hot, you don't really need a generator for much. They have tent areas here. So we circle around up to the water so you can kind of see the layout. That looks like a nice spot. Very nice spot. Sites right on the water over here too. Very beautiful.
don't mind dry camping. They got a lot of spots here. Just talked to a gentleman that said he's been here since February. Early February. Been boondocking for a little while and he's getting ready to get an electric spot tomorrow. Said he's tired of hauling gas for his generator. again up close. Looks <clears throat> like more boat storage. Lockers. Youth Center. That's the campground we're in over there. Like they have another laundry room, bathroom, shower house here at this end of the park. They have one on the other end as well. found it. Took a little riding. It's kind of tucked in out of the way, but the lounge, Sunset Lounge Bar and Grill. And then here's, over this way is the marina. I guess I was expecting something bigger, but it's cute. Closer look at the marina. few slips over here.
I scared the pelican away. back up to the campsite here and apparently in talking to people there can be a waiting list to get from the primitive area to an electric site and then some people will even wait to get a site on the front like these are premium sites because they're up on the water I think they only cost five bucks more we just lucked into getting the site with full utilities and it just happened to be a premium site. So we lucked out and here we are. <laughs> 